Hello, I'm Mimi, and today I'm going to show you how you can bring your art to life with augmented reality videos. They're perfect for Instagram Reels, TikTok, and YouTube Shorts, and people love the surprise when they realize that a drawing is actually in the real world. There's a bit of pressure at the moment to make Reels, and I totally understand why a lot of artists don't want to create another form of content. But I think if you're curious about giving them a go, Reels can be a really cool way to expand on your creative process, provide more value, and further the story of your illustrations. I'm super fortunate to have a partner who has video skills that I do not, and together we've been making these augmented reality style videos where we put my drawings and characters into the world around me and bring them to life. Over on Instagram we've had so many questions about how we make them, so we're going to show you the process we've been using in Adobe After Effects and then also show you a super easy way that you can make them yourself with just an iPad and an app. So to make our reels in After Effects, the process goes a little something like this. Once we have an idea, the first thing we need to do is film the scene. We film vertically because these are only being used on Instagram Reels, TikTok and YouTube Shorts. Then Dan will take the footage into After Effects and the 3D camera track the scene. After Effects uses these little track markers to create a virtual camera that mimics the movements of real world footage so that when we put in a digital element, it looks like it's sitting in our environment. The third step is to add our artwork and distribute the layers on the Z axis so they look like they're in the scene. With elements in place, we'll add some animation to them. This usually takes the most time, but it's where the character comes to life and we can have a lot of fun with it. The final step is to add any lighting or masking effects to hide the character when they're behind an object in the scene. Then it just needs to be rendered and uploaded to social media for all of you to enjoy. If you're interested in seeing this process in more detail, then stay tuned for next week's video when we'll have a full tutorial on how to do these steps for yourself in After Effects. But if you want a super easy way to make these reels today without any visual effects knowledge, then let's show you how to use Adobe Aero that will do all the technical bits for you. You just need some art, an Apple device, and the app itself. Unfortunately, it only works on iOS at the moment, so if you're using another device, you could try a different app like Assembler to do a similar thing. Before jumping into Aero, you'll need to get some digital art ready. To make the most of the augmented reality effect, split your art into at least a few layers so we can make the scene look more three-dimensional. Group or merge any elements of your art that you want to be able to manipulate individually in augmented reality. Aero will see your layers from top to bottom when it spreads them out in 3D space, with the layer at the top being closest to the front, so be sure to arrange your layers before you export. Once your file is ready, export it as a Photoshop file. You can do this from Procreate 2. And now you're ready to open up the app. So let's open Aero and import our art into it. Click the blue plus icon on the bottom left to start a new scene. Aero will then use your camera to find a surface. Move your camera to the left and right to see lots of little tracking dots and surfaces being placed in front of you as it maps out the environment. You can see here that it finds my desk surface really quickly. It might struggle if there isn't much texture to your surface or if it's quite shiny, but see how you go. Once you're happy with the surface tracking, move the grey anchor to the middle of the desk and tap it to anchor the surface. That looks pretty good. By moving the camera around, you can get a good idea of how well the tracking has worked. Now we can add our artwork. So press the blue plus icon on the bottom left and navigate to your PSD Photoshop file. It might take a little while to load in depending on the size of your file. Now that our art is in Aero, we need to decide where we want it to go. By moving the camera side to side, you can see a preview of how it looks on the desk surface. So find the spot you want to place it and tap on the art to anchor it. That's looking super cute already. So we have our art in our environment, but it's still just one flat shape. So we need to separate the layers in 3D space to make the most of our augmented reality effect. And to do that, you can click on your art to enter edit mode. On the bottom panel, click on layers and then click and drag the Z offset to separate the layers out. Move your camera around your art to get a better idea of how your layers are spread out and you can keep adjusting the Z offset until you're happy with how your art looks. And remember, Aero is separating these layers in the exact order we had them laid out in Photoshop or Procreate. So if you wanted to change the order, adjust the layers in Photoshop and import into Aero again. You can also move, rotate and scale with this edit panel or use touchscreen gestures to change the way your elements sit in the environment. I want my poppies to be a bit bigger, so I'm going to pinch and zoom to scale them up. It's looking pretty good. 
Once you're finished, click the preview tab on the top left of the screen and record a little video of your new virtual friend. You can also share your scene with other Aero users by generating a link. You'll find the link to this poppy scene in the description below if you'd like to open it in Aero for yourself and put them in your own home. So have some fun exploring Aero. There are lots more creative things you can do with this app. You can import multiple files into a scene, add movement and interactivity. You can import animation from After Effects or Procreate and even have something trigger from seeing a particular image. I'd love to see what you create. So if you share any of your augmented reality creations on Instagram, definitely tag me and use the hashtag augmented Mimimoo so I can see what you've made and I'll share some of your creations. I can't wait to see your art come to life with this super cool technology. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for watching.